Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't say bye to you at the end of the last recording. A massive coughing fit. Um, that actually hurt my ribs started, and I just had to, I had to mute everything and, uh, shut it down. I didn't have the option. I really didn't. Come on! Okay. Uh... Yeah, that, that, that did some damage. There. How'd you like that? Now you're all dead. I won. It wasn't we. It is me. Okay, that... Okay. Well... There's a sunshine in the way either way, huh? So at least one more battle. Now I kinda have to go for... Ugh. Good. I couldn't get to the hit point one. I mean, that's okay, but... One of the things I should do before we even go into Alma Moon is this, actually. Check out this. No, I want it. Tricks. Drowsy drops. Water bomb. That would have helped me out a lot, actually. I should check. Because we don't really want sandblast. We want smash hit. Pent up energy pummels a single enemy. But let's just get into Alma Moon. Oh, here we go. Court of the Khalifa. Here we are. Alma Moon. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Before we go ba before we go babanas though, we should draw and find this Rashid, ain't it? That's what we came here for, after all. You're right, we should ask around and find out if anybody knows him. We don't need to do that. He's kinda obvious. Um, excuse me, sir, do you know where I can find the Great Sage Rashid? The Great Sage Rashid? It was a long time since he was called by that name. These days, you would do better to ask after Rashid, seller of Babanas. He sells Babanas. You mean he's not a sage anymore. But getting him to teach me about magic was our whole reason for coming here. Hey, there's William. Still, we were after a banana split anyway. So we might as well stop by and see what, what's what in it. I guess. Okay, let's go find Rashid. Or Rash Rashad. It's not Rashid, it's Rashad. Rashad, the seller of babanas. Apparently. It's his name. No. Okay. Treasure just. Uh, all right, I guess. So let's go. We're gonna go stay at the uh, the inn. Well, we're gonna steal this from them and then 
Can we spring lock here? We can! And get strong coffee! Awesome. So we definitely want to stay. 20 guilders, it's cheap at the price. Look at that! Your wizard companion got all filled up with the memories of folks who stayed here before. Tiny new pages, the more the merrier, eh? So, new regions of the world page. Boom. Okay. All right, we get out of here. The inn here is kind of hard to find. It doesn't look like it, right? It looks like scenery. It just looks like a dead end. Like if you're not watching your mini map. All right. I think somewhere I missed an urn. Oh yeah, it's right here. I missed this urn. Which is fine. So this should be the Clotter Master? Clotter Meister? My walkthrough says there is something we can get in here. Um, in my practice file, I did not find it. But we're going to look very closely. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. What is it that it says I can get in here? Yeah, it, it actually says that there is... A uh, 10 to 20 G uh, thing here. So let's see what we can buy here. Uh, we can buy all this stuff, but we'll, we'll actually get the bone the bone sword. Um, we should buy a flint dagger. Uh, we're gonna need it way later, but we kind of have to come back here for it anyway, or come back here at some point. Woodcutter's axe does us no good. Crude claws are kind of nice, I guess. That's not much of a boost. We should, however, uh, rugged armor, merchant's garb, lightweight clothing, mist robes, leather shield. Um, mist robe sounds good. And four, uh, we have sturdy scale. The Bravado Badge. Oh, successful spell. It's such a huge deal for him. Strengthening muscles. Nobody cares about that. Battler's Badge we already have. The Adamant Badge. Where is the termination? Never give up in the... Prevents knockout when HP are high. Uh, I actually think I want this. Uh, also, I also I also think. Oh no, no, no! I want this, and uh, we need to feed this guy some magic stuff if we, can, if we have any. We can actually have all three of these. His magic attack is already high. But uh, healing and that water spell are going to be such a big deal for him, just a little bit later. Because we're going to end up doing something a little differently with him. 
Um, he could use some... He could use any kind of defense. And I know what you're saying is, you're just like, this is ridiculous. Like... You're wasting all of your food. You have no food left. But it's... Just trust me on this. It's, it's not gonna be an issue. And the reason it's not gonna be an issue is because these things are actually viable. Now, wait a minute. Is there... Yeah, I'm not missing anything. There's not a twinkling urn around here. I mean, unless it was that other one that I... I looked, or I saw. Oh, it's just down the stairs. It's right here. This is the one they're talking about. That's dumb. But 20 is the best we could have gotten out of it. Now, uh, here is, um, Swift Solutions. So, let's check out what we've got here. Yeah, forgetting something her husband has forgotten. And go and listen to what the merchant says. An elderly merchant near the milk fountains and appears to be worried about something. And we, we should actually take care of all of those. We're going to talk to this guy about bounties. The Traveler's Torment. A winged beast is tormented travelers making their way into town. It must be dealt with before it injures someone. We're going to accept this bounty and then not do it forever. Oh no, we've done this already. So never mind. There's going to be one later that we'll, we'll, we're going to accept and then like never touch. All right, the hoot nanny. Now, now, since we've opened the hoot nanny, it's actually a shop. So they actually like, um, they will sell iced coffee. They will sell a phoenix feather, which is uh, which can restore consciousness in battle. Curse be gone, sleep be gone, blindness be gone. They sell items we can feed to our familiars. And just some random things here. We're buying tender beef. We're buying fluffy rice. So we actually have um, almost an infinite number of things we get a sandwich! A oh, sandwich! So we'll get ourselves out of here. Alright. So this is where we're supposed to be. We obtained a blindness, be gone. And we should actually talk to this woman. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My, what a beautiful cape. But it's not quite the season's look for the Mamuni man about town, you know. Why not update your outfit with some of our top quality fabrics? The prices to suit even every purse. Buy now or regret it forever. Nina, look at that. It's beautiful. A new cape, huh? The only boy we're not here on a flippin' jumpin' drip. What do you think? We all made of money. Oh, very, very stylish little fellow you are, too. I have something here that would suit you down to the crowd. Let's see now. Oh, yes, perfect. You reckon? Yeah, I see what you mean. It looked the business in that. Mr. Drippy. Oh, I'm sorry, only boy. I got a bit carried away in that. You got to hand it to where the girl can sell. Roll up, roll up. Fine fabric. She put a smile on your face and it's springing your step. Look, the locket is glowing. And I reckon I know why this young lady's got more enthusiasm than a school full of six-year-olds. Excuse me, ma'am. I have something to ask you. What is it, young man? Are you interested in some of our fine fabrics? I can offer you an excellent price. Oh, no, it's not that. I was wondering if you'd maybe let us borrow a little of your enthusiasm. Oh, don't you just see the funniest things? My enthusiasm and my smile always come for free. Take as much as you like. That sure is kind of you, ma'am, but we only need a little. Hang about, Ollie boy. We've already got some of that. Oh, we do. 
You can't, okay, so that, there we go. So, like, we can't take her enthusiasm. We already have some. I didn't realize that. All right. What's this lady need? Oh, it's a tragedy. How will my poor darling dear ever survive? Something the matter, love. My soul, my one, my only dearest husband has traveled to Golden Grove in search of delicious mushrooms, but he has forgotten to take his lunch. Nickers, that was disastrous. Yeah, I guess it's kind of bad, huh? He must be really hungry by now. He must. Oh, he must. Did the wild beasts of the forest prevent me from delivering it to him myself? Oh, whatever shall I do? Golden Grove, huh? That's the forest we came through. The one with all those giant mushrooms. That's it, only boy. The fertile forest of fabulous flora and fauna. It's a perfect good place to go in search of a bit of grub. I ask you familiar with Golden Grove. Then I must make a most urgent request of you. It is a great inconvenience, I am sure, but this is an emergency. Please, you must deliver my dear darling husband's lunch to him. Yes. So he gives his lunch basket. You want us to take it to Golden Grove? Sure, leave it to us. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong voice. You aid me in my hour of need, my little hero here. This is the lunch I prepared for my best beloved with all the devotion of a faithful wife. You must not be tempted to try it, no matter how delicious it may smell. It's a meal for lovers only. So we obtained a lover's lunch basket. Well, lady, if we became lovers, then, uh... And this lady, uh, this never do is bad for business, very bad. What's the matter, ma'am? The desert is filled with marauding boneheads. The traveling merchants who bring us fresh goods are being attacked. I fear that soon our lines of supply will be severed entirely. If only there was somebody who could rid us of those skeletal scoundrels. Seems like they're in for a problem, Pickle. Oh, alley boy! Shall we offer a helping hand? Yes. All right, I'll help you, ma'am. I'll beat those boneheads for you. Come now, child. We're not in so much trouble that we need to send the likes of you to your doom. Now, nah, Mon, you don't understand. He's got me, Derby. Lord of the Lord High Fire is looking after him. He'll be right, right as rain. And what exactly will you do, little man? Gnaw upon their shin bones until they hop away. He. <laughs> Whoa, wait, you flippin' chink of it. Flippin' shin bones, indeed. All right, boy, our pride is on the line here. We need to battle those bony baggers for good and proper. Sure, let's do it, Mr. Drippy. So very well, defeat 10. So, um, you, you they're just random encounters. They're those random encounters I pointed out to you. So, I don't know where these other guys are. Where are these arguing merchants? That guy is a later thing we have to do. But anyway. There are some urns and such in this area that we want to hit. There's one. There's another one. I get this one first. And what do we get? A loaf of white bread. A sour sundae. And there's a chest here. With 50 guilders. Oh, there's a poison be gone around here somewhere too that I didn't see. Or did I get that here? I get, it doesn't really matter. It's a poison be gone. We're, we're never gonna, like, it's gonna be a while before. Oh, it's right here. Okay hidden and everything so there's that so that should be it for um oh and then also this guy spirit medium nice to see you again did you have fun crossing the desert oh that was flipping boiling mon well, I think for you, maybe, Pipsqueak. I'm a ghost. Ghosts don't feel the heat. So there! What are you doing here, Horace? I'm looking at these fountains. They're amazing. They squirt out milk! All the milk a boy could drink. They're what Elma Moon is famous for. Yeah, it's creepy. But the spicy smell coming from the food stall is mixing with the smell of milk. It's strange. Ha! Huh, you think so? I kind of like it. Hey, there's still loads of spells you don't know yet out there, Oliver. Well, I am trying. It's just that my wizard's companion is kind of, um, most of the pages are missing. Missing? Oh yeah, I had to give you the page for the spirit medium, didn't I? Uh-huh, when Mr. Ruby first gave it to me, the only spell inside was Gateway. Really? So the pages have been torn out? I bet it was that idiot shit I was doing. 
All right, I suppose I better help you fill it back up again, hadn't I? Tidy, that's generous. Maybe I was wrong about you being a stingy little midget after all. Well, I'm not just going to hand a lot of, load of pages over. If that's what you're thinking, Oliver will have to prove his wizarding comprehension skills first. The wizard's companion is full of spells. There are also stories in there that were gathered by the sages over the century. But those have probably been torn out too. Stories are pretty powerful. After all, they might inspire people to stand up, up to him. Right, I'm going to give you one that, to get you started. Have a read, it's one of my favorites. Okay, we obtained a new tale of wonder. The Cowardly Prince and the Lion. And he's actually going to ask us a question to see if we've read it. And we're actually going to read it in the next video. I will see you for that. Bye, everybody.